I am the executive editor for the Caribbean and Latin America for Travel Alliance Media. If I was to estimate, I've been to 40, 50 countries. When I've traveled around the world, my travels have been pretty much uneventful. My trip to Panama was part of what I do normally, quite often. We were to see parts of the Panama Canal, uh, some of the national parks, uh, and certainly the historic area of Panama City. The flight was fine uh, to Panama. After I landed, uh, I began walking through the airline terminal to Customs and Immigration. Uh, I began to notice some asthma symptoms. I began coughing a bit, and as soon as I coughed, I felt a, what felt like a balloon had popped inside of my chest. I knew something was wrong. Um, and I needed to be uh, at a hospital and be treated. I went straight through to the emergency room. The doctor came back and explained that um, I wasn't having an asthma attack, but that one of my lungs had collapsed. So that's kind of shocking kind of to hear. And I was asked for um, any insurance I had personally um, to cover this situation. I did uh, provide regular medical insurance, which they quickly told me probably wasn't applicable in that country. Really in the back of my mind and right away, I was thinking of my Allianz travel protection plan. I had my cell phone, so I also called the 800 number for Allianz. I got a case worker named Taylor Ann. She was aware of the situation and my condition. Um, she informed me that Allianz has local personnel that they reach out to in these sorts of cases. They consult with the medical staff. To have Allianz on the line uh, when I really needed some help, it, it made a big difference. It really got a little shaky at one point because Dr. Jaramillo came in and he looked at the machine attached to me and he said, this is not good. He said, it's not healing by itself. Uh, he says, and we're gonna have to do a, a surgery. I did want to return to the U.S. to, uh, to have the treatment. Uh, when I got back to Taylor Ann, I told her about my concerns. Um, she did inform me. The, the priority was what to, to do that was medically best for me. Her and her team would collaborate with Dr. Jaramillo and talk about the situation and my concerns. Taylor Ann got back to me and said, yes, you know, considering all the circumstances, we're going to authorize a medical flight uh, to take you out of there. I couldn't have been happier. I was really happy when I learned that the flight was authorized. And I told one of the hospital staffers, we were talking about uh, where we lived, each other respectively, and uh, I told him I had a little house in Brooklyn, and I said to him, I said to him, I wonder if I'll ever see that little house again. And he said, of course you're gonna see it again. In the evening, I was lying in the hospital room, and suddenly the, uh, the air ambulance crew walks in. They were terrific. <laughs> they were just great. They gave you the sense that you know, although for me it was a special situation and it was critical and important, you know, they do this a lot. When I landed in Miami, there was a genuine relief. I had the procedure. Uh, it was 100% successful. When it happens to you, it brings home the importance. It's not an option to have travel insurance. It's a necessity. It's as important as anything else you bring with you when you travel, your passport or, or a good suitcase or anything else. I needed Allianz to be there for me, to, uh, to help me in this situation. They came through with flying colors. They did a tremendous job. They, they exceeded my expectations. And I was extremely and am extremely grateful.